Hello with my peace, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are not new, if you are new, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, magical unicorn like day. If not, that's always, always okay too, but I am always over here hoping that your day does turn around for you. Okay. Oh yes, yeah, so I hope you're staying safe, social distancing, wearing your mask, hand sanitizing, washing your hands, protecting yourself as well as other people because guess what? You're literally not the only person on this planet. We go with figures. Okay, so y'all uh there's a new situation okay so i went to go borrow some thumbtacks from someone and i don't like it's one of them is m.i.a um and i i don't know where it went so it's possible i might get stabbed um, so, I mean, if it is, if that does happen, like, pray for me, you know? Um, you know, we gonna be good, you know? I, I, okay, let me see, place the thumbtack, okay, so, I mean, I could step on it, actually pick it up, so, I mean, I mean, unless if it's standing, what is it, like, upright and, like, I fall, okay. I mean, that could hurt, right? But then people get body piercings all over the place. So, I mean, I should be good. Right? It would be no different than, what, like, getting, like, a shot. So, I mean, okay, okay. So, I won't bleed out. So, I think we're still good. I think we're still good. But today, I am donating platelets for the first time. Or at least I hope that I am donating platelets and that I will be able to donate platelets for the first time. Cause I have an appointment set uh, to donate platelets. But I, I, did I tell you guys this? But um, last time when I went to go donate anything, which was whole blood, um, when they were doing the like routine checkup thing, like pulse, heart rate, blood pressure, or whatever the case, all those good things, so some of the numbers weren't looking right and so they had to redo it or whatever the case may be and things like that so i'm hoping uh everything works out great today so hopefully i can just donate blood i mean donate platelets because i'm not donating blood today Yes, I will. Okay. So, apart from me possibly getting stabbed in the future, we now have me going to willingly get stabbed to donate platelets because I'm just that much of an amazing human being to where I will become, what do they call it? It's not a, I don't want to say punching bag, a blood bag. A blood bag for people. Uh, yeah. Good times, good times. You know what sucks about me doing these things in the morning is that... I, uh... I never have an appetite in the morning, and so whenever I eat things, I basically force myself to eat because I uh, don't have an appetite. And I'm supposed to probably be getting out of here at like 9.40, because my appointment is at 9.30, and it takes about 30 minutes to get there. So like 9.40 to like, well more like probably like 9.45, 9.50 probably. Is kind of weird. And I'm 
not going to, like, get into the situation that happened where it was, like, kind of weird, but... Oh, it's kind of weird. Not gonna lie. You will find weird individuals. I don't even know what I should wear because is it too much of me to be like a fan girl to like wear this shirt? Maybe I shouldn't wear this. Been an hour yet? Yeah, I am so sore. What's the temperature? It looks like it's gonna rain. Yeah. Yeah. I should at least probably wear some pants though. And probably some shoes. I just don't want to wear pants though. Pants just seems like ah, such a down downgrade. <sighs> I have no like. This is just not good. Like, if you guys don't know, yeah, I just, I hate wearing pants. Like, I'm gonna be honest. Pants and me just don't match. Like, I see pants as, huh. <sighs> What do I see pants as? I see pants as constraints. I see pants as constraints when I don't want to wear pants, which is a lot of time. I just want to like wear shorts, you know? And dresses and things like that. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be a little chilly, so I should probably wear some pants. Checking my Um, Yas. You guys ever say like, yes ma'am to your dads? Like, or it's, you know, uh, so like sometimes like I just, I mean I obviously I say yes ma'am to my mom, but like sometimes the way I text my dad is like, well, because he texts like he's a teenager too. And depending on the day, my mom will do the same thing. But, so it's his mess with him sometimes. I'll be like, yes, ma'am. I just don't see the reason why. I mean, I mean, they provide.
I do with covers, right? So I mean, why should I like? Um, what do you call it? What? Okay. Maybe if I find this shirt first. I said I should be charging this phone that it's on right now. Because then she's not gonna want to be charged. I'm just gonna wear this. I think this is what's happening. I think I've given up. What is getting? Oh, I see what. She's wearing this. Oh, I tried. I really tried to change. And it just didn't happen. Wait, where's that white shirt I found? Oh, there it is. Well, I guess I could wear this. So that way I'm not looking like too much of a fan girl. Should they come in there and be like, and then if I get rejected because my numbers didn't look up to snuff, that's gonna be sad. It's gonna be like one blood, one blood. <gasps> you don't betray me. But that means I gotta change my jewelry. What I was wearing. Yes, and dang. Okay. What's that y'all? I'm kind of nervous. Like, I'm like really excited, but I'm also nervous a little bit because I've looked at the size of this needle and my mom reminded me, thanks mom, for the size of the freaking needle and it got me like, oh my goodness. But you know, you can't really be like freaking out. the blood place you're giving blood at so it's kind of like you know like that I think everyone I, everyone should know this but there's like that internal like mother humper uh scream that you do Like, I've gotten used, kind of used to the needles or whatever. Uh, when I'm donating whole blood. But as far as like uh, donating platelets. That's a whole nother can of worms. 
So sore. Okay. Where are you at? You. Okay, I can't tell. Okay, so it's this one. Do I drink? Do I drink? And or smoke or whatever or do any of that stuff? And I was like, oh, okay, I found it. The probability of me getting stabbed has now decreased. Okay, so. saying something. Oh, do I like drink, smoke, or any of that stuff? And I was like, no, I don't smoke. But, um, drinking, I I feel like I'm losing everything. Oh, okay. Um, I was like drinking, hello, I'm underage, and it's October 5th of this year, hello, what are you talking about? At least I'm underage in the U.S. of A. Thumb. Okay. Um. Oh, I have a question. For those of you who are not warning people, I have a question. When does it... Okay, so obviously the morning is considered basically... 12 a.m. to 11.59 a.m. But when you say you're not a morning person, where does it... Or you say it's too early, where does the time frame stop at? Because I was just talking to somebody and he said he's not a morning person. 
It was about 9.20 when I talked to him. Is, is that what you guys consider early? Like, I, listen, I am no, um, what do you call it, like, if it isn't for my sleep schedule being really weird and, like, I don't know, my body's just being really weird lately, uh, you know, I'd be asleep, you know what I'm saying? Like, I sleep, I sleep morning, noon, night, I can sleep at any time, but, I mean, if, and when I have to wake up, let's say, I don't know. But I wake up at 7, pretty much, on the days I have, like, my classes or whatever. So, but, like, I'm just, like, bam. Like, when I'm up, I'm, like, yes. So, I mean, it's just hard for me to understand. So, like, what do you guys consider, like, to be, like, stopped for as, oh, I didn't mean to do that, for the morning. Like, what do you guys consider that to be? And, like, this is happening. Okay, so, when my mom's sister was getting their nails done, uh, what's his name? Their nail tech, Jason. He, um, we got it. We're supposed to come in at like 10. But I guess he's like really lazy and like him and this other dude. He's like people are like always like really late. And so he didn't get like there to like 10 30 or whatever. And so we started doing my mom's nails or whatever processor to and my mom showed him the design that she wanted. He said that it's too early for that. And by this time it had been a little bit, so it's like maybe it's like mm, 10:45 now. I said it's too early for that. I'm like. Too early. So I'm asking a question to you morning people. What the heck is considered too early? Like 9.20? Okay. We'll go with that. But I mean, do y'all still consider 10.45 to be too early? Like, huh. And then, it was about, like, noon or whatever. And I don't remember what my mom had asked him. Well, he had said, no mind you, it's, like, pretty much noon. And he said, and he said, it's too early. And then at that point, I was like, because before when I said it's, like, I'm like, it's 1045. But like I said, like kind of like low, or softly or whatever. And he said, and so he maybe didn't hear it or whatever the case may be. And so when he said it again, that it's too early, and I looked at my watch, and I was like, bro, it's like noon. We talking about it's too early? And he said, he, you should have seen the look he gave me, like. Yeah, and it is still too early. Like, what are you talking about, bro? It is noon o'clock. What are you talking about? It is 12 00, 12 o'clock, noon o'clock. What do you mean it's too early? So, us, why well, would necessarily say, like, well, I guess I am kind of, I don't know. I'm good pretty much, really, at any time, but. We want to know, the people want to know, the morning people that is good and cheery at 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, we want to know what you guys still consider to be.
to be too early. Am I in my dorm yet? What you mean am I in my dorm yet? Girl, I am getting ready to leave my dorm. Weirdo. This is a weirdo, y'all. What is she talking about? Oh, I don't yet. Where did you think I went? Okay. All right, y'all. <clears throat> I'll catch on a little bit. So, my peeps. So, some things happen. So, the video, or what you guys just watched, about me, the whole thing about me being excited and all that stuff about getting platelets and whatnot. Not getting platelets, giving platelets. Well, it didn't happen, unfortunately. It wasn't because I chickened out or anything like that. Come to find out, when I arrived, well, first of all, they were already trying to reschedule and they had actually called me by missed their call. And they were trying to reschedule because only one of the machines was working. And so she's like, so she was like in the midst of saying, you know, um, we can try and get you rescheduled and things like that, whatever. And she kept saying, you're so small, you're so small. And, like, I've always, I don't want to say always been small, but let me just finish the story. Okay, so. <sighs> I, I, you know, I was all excited, things like that, or a little bit nervous or whatever. Um, and she was like, yeah, I mean, one, you're really small, but two, or whatever, uh, you, uh, forgot to use both arms, seeing as how you just gave, a uh, whole blood recently. And I was like, oh, okay. Sounds great. And she was like, here, come into this office or whatever for a quick second. But she's like, you know what? Let me just, like, make sure or whatever. And here, step on this weight or whatever. Because she had asked me, okay, how much do you weigh? I said, mm, like, 111 or whatever. And you have to be the minimum weight of 110 pounds and so she was like let me just make sure like come over here and step on this scale and when i stepped on the scale i was 98.2 pounds and so uh clearly i could not give blood unfortunately i mean for me, I would still be like, you know, it's fine. Just let's just go ahead with the process. But like health wise and like legally, um, they can't do that. So I couldn't give platelets. And she was like, I appreciate you for trying, but with how low your weight is, like you can't even like give blood. And so I think she was, it was still like, what are they doing? Um, so it was with this. And so she's like, but thanks for trying or whatever. And I was like, yeah, thanks or whatever. And so I got in the car and I called my sister. Because, you know, I was like thinking like, you know, my mom's busy or she's asleep or whatever because she had to work that night. And... I called her, she said, hey, girl. 
And I was like, hey, bruh. And she was like, no joke, like, this is like how my sister and I talk to each other. And she was like, you know, what's up or what's good or whatever. And I said, well, that was a bust. And she said, why? What's wrong? Like, are they not open or like whatever the case may be? And I was like, I am extremely underweight. I don't want to say, well, that's really like over exaggerating. But I think I said, I, in that moment, I'm pretty sure, like, 90% sure I said I'm extremely underweight or whatever. And I'm, and I told her, I weigh 98.2 pounds and you have to be 110 pounds to donate. And she was like, oh, ooh, girl. And then she said, hang on a second. And so I'm like, okay. I'm, like, trying to, like, pour my heart out and, like, tell her what the situation is. And she leaves okay i'm like oh, okay her right, let's go already like i need you like here right now like i can't be having you like not here and she was like i mean obviously she's not physically here but like i need her like distance here you know what i'm saying and i assume that she picks up the phone back up because i can hear the phone uh pick back up and she was like well, not she was like, but my mom had apparently picked up the phone and she said, hi, daughter. And I was like, hi, mom. And she's like, yeah, mm-hmm. So how's it going? I'm like, you know, it's going great. Um, you know, it didn't, the, me giving platelets, donating platelets didn't exactly happen. And she said, why not? And I said, well, I'm a little underweight. See how I changed the verbiage when it was my sister, I was being dramatic. And then when I was talking to mom, I was like, what do they call that? And I don't, I don't know how what the technical term is. But, um, so, she was like, mm-hmm. And so she said some other things, whatever, but I can't remember. But, like, you know, she was like, well, you know, we gotta really, you know, get your weight up and, like, things like that, whatever. And I was like, excuse me, I was, like, really, like, disappointed in myself. What was it? I guess I was, like, really sad. Like, I started crying because I was like, you know, I really wanted to be able to donate and things like that and to help people. And the fact that I couldn't because of me and my body and whatever the case may be, I was, like, failing. I feel like I was failing people. And so, she was like, you know, like, why are you crying? Like, like don't cry or whatever. It's okay. Like, we just gotta, like, get your... She's like, you know, it's okay. Like, there's other ways to, you know, help people and things like that or whatever. It's the fact that you were so willing to and have the drive into the... the and the determination too, because there's people out here that's donating blood or like volunteering and stuff like that, or whatever, that their heart's not in it. So she said, in essence, you know, are they really helping those people if like their heart's not even in it? Sims. And so, um, okay. Um, it's so. My mom was like, um, at the end of the day, you know, your heart was in the right place or whatever, but how can you take care of other people if you're not taking care of yourself? And I was like, I mean, mind you, like, I'm in the midst of, like, crying or, like, starting to, like, not cry as much, and so it's, like, one of those situations where it's, like, it hit deep and it was like, man, that's deep, but really you're like, I man, I don't have any, like, tissues or anything in the car, so, like, I'm, like, literally have hand sanitizer on my hand, and it's, like, me wiping away my tears, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so, uh, restart, thank you. And so, then my mom was like, 
Okay, I'm not as concerned about the fact that you're uh, pretty underweight. I'm more concerned with the fact that uh, what did she say? Oh, the fact that I'm not getting the nutrients and things like that that I need. So, uh, there's that. And so, now, uh, what's happening is, yes, like, I should have the mindset to like want to make sure that I maintain a healthy way and all that stuff and being yada yada yada. But now my drive for getting to a healthy way and a healthy body, uh, now that drive is the what's motivating me is the fact that I couldn't donate and I couldn't help people. And so now, that's what's driving me right now to do, like, my damnedest to, like, make sure I get to that 110. Uh, so that way, I can go back to doing what I love, which is donating blood. So, huh, there's that. And so what I've been doing is, right now we're dealing with like a temporary kind of solution right now. And I've been drinking these, let me get it. The last few days or whatever, I've been drinking uh, these or whatever, these boosts. This is not, what do they call it? sponsor video or anything like that this is just me you know things like that or whatever and trust me i didn't come up with these ideas myself my mom was like here's what we're gonna do and so right now this is the temporary solution to my parents can talk and my mom does some more research or whatever and so i've been drinking about what is it i think it's how many 12 ounces of these a day. Now, this is eight fluid ounces or whatever. So that means I drink one and a half of these a day. I drink four ounces uh, during breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And so that is what I have been doing. Um, at least until we can get more into the details and things like that of what I'm like really going to be doing and um but fortunately for me it's a little bit harder because one I have a pretty high metabolism uh and also I walk a lot like I mean I'm also like constantly like just doing things or whatever but I do walk a lot. I think I get about what is it? I think it's about eight thousand seven hundred steps a day. And to some people, that's like, well, that's not really a lot, but like, it's just quite a bit. And so, and that's just minimum for the like amount of steps that I get a day. Um. Yeah. Because, like, for me, I can't, like, exercise like how I used to exercise, which I will talk about in a video sometime or whatever regarding that or whatever. But, uh, one, I, like, walk to my classes or whatever, but I also walk a lot as far as just to just kind of, like, decompress. And, like, I love walking exercising so much or whatever so I love exercising a lot and so walking is kind of like the substitution for me not being able to exercise so 
and for and like I'm always I don't want to say like I'm always moving around because like there's like those very few days where I were like we'll just kind of like lounge around or whatever uh but for the most part like I'd be like wanting to move like and especially lately I have been getting like so antsy and like I just like have to be moving like the fact that I have to be in my dorm right now studying for this stupid bio exam is like killing me right now because I want to be, well actually wait, what time is it? Oh, I guess it's a little bit late, but like I want to be like out doing things and stuff like that ever like, I don't know, like I just want to always be like on the go, go, go. So... I mean, luckily I have, like, quite a few things that are, like, coming up which will, like, kind of, like, feed that. But, like, for example, tomorrow, let me see, Friday or whatever, depending on whatever the case may be, I really want to go to the beach or whatever uh, after my classes tomorrow because, like, I've also, yes, I love collecting seashells, but I love, like, like I said, like, walking is, like, my substitution for, like, hardcore exercising that I was doing. And so, walking along the beach, that is, like, kind of, like, I don't know. It just does something to me. And so, if the Jones is just too bad tomorrow, then I'm gonna, like, I really don't have to beg my mom to, like, go to places, but, like, uh, I'm gonna, like, be like mom like I just can't be in my room or whatever the case may be like I can't be cooped up um because like these let's see yesterday what did I do yesterday okay yesterday I went to my classes I also went to family dollar I also walked a lot and then on Tuesday, I was definitely ripping and running. That's when the first part of this video was recorded or whatever. And that's when I was, like, doing the playlists. I was going to Walmart, Walgreens. Uh, I was, like, visiting different locations to, like, be able to volunteer and things like that or whatever. And then uh, on Monday... No. Yeah, because... Okay, so Tuesday that I did that, but then also I went to my Rhodes meeting also that day, and so I was still being able to like be out of my dorm room. And then on Monday, Monday, what did I do Monday? Monday, I after classes. Oh, I didn't do anything. I was going to do something Monday, besides just go to my classes and walk, but uh, some things happened, and like my shoulder was like not having it or whatever. And my body has been like really sore lately. Like I don't know. Like y'all, I feel like such an old woman sometimes. Like I have. There's just a lot of things special with me, but. Like, my body, like, aches all the time. I don't know why. Normally, my body would only ache if, like, uh, one, I did hardcore exercising, which I haven't done in, uh, what did I say? Like, over a year. And then, um, what is it? Uh. When I'm sick or when I'm getting ready to start my period or like something like that or whatever. Like that was the indication but like I am, have not gotten sick. And I... Not to be TMI but like I like kind of already like sort of like just recently got off my period so it's uh, clearly not that so it's like I feel like such a woman like I've been like moving like a old okay no offense to older women but like I feel like I don't know like just like so achy and like it's crazy because y'all I do so much I be taking vitamin C uh 
gummies, uh, B12 gummies. I'd be taking my multivitamins. I clear now I have this over here. Uh, depending on the day, I have to be taking some nodos. Uh, I'll be putting on like patches and like DP and like, oh, anyway, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. And then, so then on Sunday I went to like stores or whatever. And I, oh yeah. Cause that's the day I got like a pretty late start or whatever, which is like, eh. I don't really like the fact that I got a late start ever, but my phone was taking forever to charge or whatever. Uh, so I couldn't exactly do as much as I wanted to that day. And then on Saturday is when I went to uh, the beach for, excuse me, uh, two hours. And then after that, Excuse me. Then I went, and then I came back to my dorm, ate, took a shower, and then that's when I, uh, uh, went to the mall. Yeah. So, I don't know. Like, I'm just, like, I don't know, like, I just, like, move, need to move too much. Like, especially when, like, there's, like, days where, like, I won't, like, and my body can, like, tell when, like, I don't really get the amount of, My body is normally used to getting so like, oh, is that Pizza Hut? Anyway, uh, yes. Yeah, so this is what I'm saying. When my my body is so used to getting a certain amount of steps or exercise. Or whatever, and so especially if I've kind of lounged on a specific day, you know, like, okay, so let's say, so like, let's say I wake up at like, hmm, eight, nine o'clock, whatever in the morning, then, you know, my body will be, and then like, if I'm kind of just lounging or whatever, my body will be like, okay, 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 you know, we got you, whatever, but... Uh, then as, like, it gets to, like, maybe, like, 3 p.m. or something like that, then, like, my body will start being, like, okay, girl, and so then, like, I'll start pacing or whatever, <sighs> and then, like, my body will be, like, kind of good or whatever, but then, trust me, my body starts crying to me the next day, like, girl, we didn't, we barely got any step, any form of exercise yesterday and we can't do that again today and so my body will like be like whether like up just like a ball of energy like we're like sis like you tried our life the other day so um yeah so for I guess like I said that all to say it's like hard to kind of mm, pick up weight because yeah I have a pretty like high metabolism but like for example when I was uh back home for like winter break uh my mom was like which is crazy because I was at a hundred and two when I went to home when I went home for winter break. So going there, I was at 102. And then over the course of me being there for a month, uh, I was, what was it, like 100 and, 
Well, at one point, I would then have actually had yeah, dropped a pound, 101, so then over the course of, like, the month or whatever, like I was saying, I then got up to, like, about, uh, 100, about, like, 105, 106 or whatever, and it was easy to kind of get that and kind of keep it, because, like, each time I would check, it would be around that, uh, number, it was easy to keep that, because whenever, like, I'm at home, uh, at least for, like, the breaks or whatever, I don't really do anything. Like, I literally, I wake up, and, I wake up, and, uh, Drink some orange juice and then like I like watch TV and stuff or like play with Legos or something like that or whatever. So I don't really do much. And so it was easy because I was like kind of like a couch potato. And so like that was easy to do. But obviously when I'm here I have like things to do. And I just I can't I... I need to move. I need to move. Like, I just, I just don't know. Like, I was literally, like, in my lab. And, what was that? I was in lab, and I was like, oh, my goodness. Like, I need to, like, get out. I need to feel the air like outside in the breeze like this is like to be cooped up in there for three hours i'm like oh my god <sighs> i mean like i was checking the clock to get out of there but i was checking the clock so that way to see when i could get out of there to uh walk around so and then I was like, oh, I really want to go to the beach after I get out of this lab or whatever. But I unfortunately have responsibilities. I have responsibilities such as school. Oh, my God. And then my body has been so wired lately that, like, when it's time for bed, like, normally, like, I could go to sleep, I, like, will tell my body when to go to sleep, and, like, it will listen to me, but lately, my body has been, like, there's just far too much to do, girl, and so it's just, <sighs> that's why whenever, like, also, like, whenever, like, I walk for, like, a really long time, for example, when I was at the beach, like, I did, like, I walked literally for, like, like two hours straight and like my body was like well I can't necessarily say it was done at that point because I literally came took a shower and then went to the mall and walked a lot more so but it was good because at the end of the by the end of the night my body was like okay we're good now we're ready to like shut down or whatever you done fed us you have done what you needed to do and so now we're good i am like literally rambling rambling <sighs> do what you love love what you do Oh, and as far as, like, the volunteer opportunities, okay, so, I was, like, okay, because, like, when I was looking for volunteer opportunities, one of the opportunities was, like, to volunteer at, like, this kid's academy. Like, it's, like, a preschool for preschoolers or whatever, and I have an appointment with them on Tuesday at 11 a.m., 
But see how, like, it's a situation where it's, like, preschoolers and things like that. And the only time during, like, a school week that, like, I have available is Tuesdays because I don't have any classes. But then at the same time, like... <coughs> Bless me. I, like, someone from... Well, not someone, but I also have been in contact with people from, like, this, uh, dog rescue place or whatever the case may be, and so some of their shifts or whatever that I would be doing is also on Tuesdays, and I'm still waiting to hear back from, like, this hospital that I've also been in contact with as far as volunteering, and so, like, it's kind of like at this point it's like what is more beneficial to me because one of the volunteer opportunities that they let me see because for example on Tuesdays I would I would be one of the positions that I said that I could do would be animal care kennels and that's like you know cleaning out the kennels uh feeding the dogs uh dispersing like toys and things like that for the dogs or whatever and that's from 12 p.m to 3 p.m i don't know how long preschool lasts but i'm that's like literally like during those hours and then there's also like a possibility where I could be doing this doing the animal care kennel for Monday Wednesday and Friday from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. and oh yeah Monday Wednesday Friday and technically one of their things is the shifts on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is 12 to 3, but I can't do 12 to 3 uh, on those days because I have class. So, I, like, have, like, even specified, like, yes, I'm a student or, I'm, you know, whatever. And then, like, another position I was going to, like, also, like, say that I could, like, do... It's customer service, but, okay, I am a person that is like, you know, that you, I'm the person you want on customer service. I am that person that people want, you know what I'm saying? But however, I am the person that us that does not want to do it, like, when I was, like, thinking back, cause, like, I had broke down all the positions, you know, that I could do. And when I was looking at I'm like, do I really want to sit at a phone for that long? Like, being stuck to the phone, like, not moving? Like, I want to be where the action is. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why, like, my mom and my dad, and, like, I think, like, a lot of people say, like, you know, if you don't like customer service or whatever, or, like, you whatever the case may be then don't do it like if you're not gonna do it right then don't do it i am that person you know again not to toot my own horn toot or pat my own back pat, pat, but i am that person you want on customer service however though i just i cannot be that person on customer service i mean i would p do the part amazing okay like like i said you want me to be answering the phone and you want me to be on the end of the line when you're like hi i have a question i'm like oh my gosh okay well actually i wouldn't say that but i'd be like oh my gosh i am so happy to help uh what can i what can i do uh what's your question like i i am that person that you want to be called to to be on the other end of that line when you have a question or where you're just like hi i was on the website and i couldn't necessarily find what i was looking for could you maybe help me of course i will do what i can and see what i can do and so that's that but again alas what we have here is i just i it's just not something that is gonna it's not gonna happen voluntarily let me tell you that okay 
Um, but can I y'all be watching my videos? Y'all know that you want me on the other end of that line. Now, in the morning, when like your dog has like ate something really bad and is now affecting your day and your plans and your busy schedule, and you're just like, <sighs> beep boop bop boop, ring ring ring, hello, this is whatever, this is blah 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 blah. How how may I be of assistance today? Yes, my dog ate a unicorn, and now he's throwing up rainbows. I need to bring him in. Um, sure, no problem. Uh, when, what time were you thinking about bringing him in? Um, I want to get him in as soon as possible. Okay, great, we can get him in in exactly, you know, at 2.30 p.m. Uh, today. Does that time work for you? Yes, it does work for me. Okay, great. We will see you then. Uh, what's the name of like your dog and whatever it can be? Is this, so like I'm that person, you know, I'm that hype person that you may not necessarily want on the other end of the line when like you would just like want to kill your dog for eating a unicorn who is now puking out rainbows. But again, that's you want that. You don't want that someone who's gonna match your dreary energy you know what i'm saying you want me but again like i'm saying i just i can't be on that no 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 i did not decide to volunteer my time to be doing exactly what i would normally be doing in my classes which is sitting there answering phones i want to be in the action you know what i'm saying and so Oh, there was also this other position, but this one is for, like, on Saturdays from, like, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. And it is, uh, working in the clinic part, and it would be me assisting or help or, like, you know, with surgeries or, like, uh, preparing kits and things like that, uh, for the surgeries, uh, for the animals or whatever. So there's also that that I could possibly be doing. <laughs> um... Oh, I also did, uh, they had enough, and also you want, you want me greeting you when you walk in, okay? You want me, like, I'm, like, y'all be watching my videos, y'all know, like, I'm that person that you want greeting you at the door, okay? So, but they, they already had those positions filled, but they're looking for substitutes for it in case, like, somebody can't make their shift or whatever the case may be, and I said put me on there okay again i can only do tuesdays though and then i even my ambitious self y'all y'all can count on me i said listen i didn't put all these specifications and things like that ever but you just let your girl know if you need me to do because like i think most people like they will like just like put down one position and like that's like the one they're gonna go with and i said i can be multiple things like i can be in multiple positions when people be like hey have you seen johnson you know oh the person that works in the animal animal care kennel oh i know her as the greeter or oh i know her as the person that uh works in the clinic you know what i'm saying like it's like grr and then when the greeter, when I'm greeting people, he'd be like, hello, my name is Kyra. How can I help you and assist you today? I am your greeter. I am your education volunteer. I am your animal care kennel person, as well as a clinical assistant. What can I do to assist you? You know, like, those are the vibes, you know what I'm saying? Like, those are the vibes. Those animals... This animal rescue, they, those animals have been through some things. They can't handle this dreariness. They can't handle a greeter that does not give them the greets that they deserve, you know? But anyway, now I'm just, like, rambling and, like, messing around. But, um, yeah. So, I mean, that's, like, kind of turned into, like, a lot of different things. So I don't even know what I would, oh, I guess I, yeah, I do, okay. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Go ahead and like, share, subscribe. Go ahead and turn on them 
post notifications so you get notified every single time I post a new video, whether it's a live video, whether it's a, just a simple post, anything. You will know. Okay, make sure when you hit, do hit that bell, make sure you hit all notifications and not personalized. We don't do personalized notifications over here. We do all notifications. I hope you guys are having a magical day. And remember, if not, that's always okay too. But I am always over here hoping that your day does turn around for you. Remember, even if you didn't like this video, go ahead and hit that upside down, thumbs down. Okay, but guess what? It's not going to stop us from doing what we do. Look at me. Like, I can't, like, I'm just, like, so, like, like, I've been, like, trying to work on making sure that my intros and my outros and whatnot are, you know, slow and steady wins the race. But, see, I'm just so, like, up here right now that, like, I can't, you know, that, like, I just, we just up here right now. Like, I just, like... So I apologize to you guys if I was talking extremely fast and things like that or whatever, but we just, we is, you know, like I just, there's just some things that I just can't, look at me, like I can't even, oh my gosh, oh my goodness. draw this can you guys see this I don't think I drew this this doesn't seem like something I would draw Okay, I know I didn't draw this. There's no way. I would never draw this. First of all, what is this? You're not even scribbling in the in between the lines. And the tongue! Look at that! The tongue isn't even connected! Screw- what the- this is not even- There's no way I drew this. First of all, whenever I draw something, I'm not like halfway off the page or sticky note. Oh, actually, that's kind of cool how this happened. Hey! <laughs> okay. Yeah. And why would I draw it on the back of the sticky note? Like... People just be wasting my snick my sticky notes, man. Hello? Hi, this call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. My name is Eric Coppock. Can I please speak with Robbie Johnson? <laughs> No, you cannot speak with Rodney Johnson. You cannot speak with my father. How dare you? Okay, I want to know where are people getting all these pets from? Like, literally. I think people seen people with pets on campus last semester. You know, like, those people that had pets on campus last semester, they actually had a purpose. Like, they were, like, actual service animals. Uh, whether it was... 
therapy, PTSD, uh, whatever, like, whatever the case may be, like, those animals, those dogs had a purpose. And I think people seen them and like, oh, we must be allowed to bring pets on campus. And literally, like, there's, like, all kinds of animals on, like, and then, like, you're getting these people, these things, like, as puppies, so I know. I mean, they're so cute, though, but, oh my goodness, okay, so this husky, okay, so these, I don't know whose husky it is, to be honest with you. I don't know, like, I just, I can't tell. I think, like, at first it was, like, uh... Like, like, it was, like, between, like, four people that I had to choose from. So, it was, like, literally, like, 25% chance that I would have to get it right. Okay, but then I was, like, okay, okay. As, like, things started happening or whatever, and the more I see them with specific people, I'm, like, oh, okay, we can narrow this down a little bit. So, then I was choosing between three people that I could be. But now I'm choosing between two people because I... I I feel like it's the other dude, but I can't put my finger on it. I haven't figured it out quite yet. But anyway, like I was saying, like, people just, like, like, bro, there are no pets allowed on campus. And they even, and like, apparently, like, there's, like, so many people or whatever that did it or whatever that the housing and residence life people actually sent out multiple emails saying that if your dog is not registered as like a service animal whatever the case may be and they find out they are calling what is it animal i don't think that they would call animal control but some sort of like animal service or whatever then have then like they would get their animal taken away and then there was consequences for the owner so now I'm confused because I know that all of these people, like, are you kidding me? All of a sudden, now everybody has an animal. Okay. I mean, that's fine if they do, but then you can't keep like saying it for certain people and then like threatening people, you know? Because like we all see these animals on campus, so, like you can't be like you can't pick and choose when you're going to like threaten people, talking about taking animals away and things like that like it has to be for everybody i'm not saying like the people with that actually have the service animals but you can't like pick and choose which people can't have uh animals that aren't service animals on here like like that's not how that works if you're going to have other animals besides service animals on campus for some people then it has to be for all people you know but anyway, uh, I think I was saying something before. I know I was trying to exit out the video. Oh, yeah. People, right on my sticky notes. Huh. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I know who wrote on my sticky note, but I'm not going to say that. But anyway. Wait, did I make sure to tell you guys to wear your mask? If I did, it's okay. We can always repeat it. Wear your mask, people, okay? Like, oh, goodness gracious. And because I know for a fact this is going to happen, I... Because normally you guys not only be saying, like, videos that's coming up or whatever. But, um, another B Today video is coming up. Whether it will be, you won't get it tomorrow. I mean, even if I do go to the beach tomorrow, you're not getting it tomorrow. The video tomorrow. But, let me see. You'll probably get it, uh, you'll probably get it Sunday, most likely. Is when you'll get it. But, uh, I will see you guys next time. And remember, comment down, like, some things you guys want me to do, whatever. Again, we do, there are some things coming up where I will be able to, uh, record and things like that. A big thing happening next month. 
uh, that I will definitely be recording as much as I can uh, to be able to show you guys. And so I'm extremely excited about that. Um, there's also a Sheen haul coming up. Uh, not necessarily because, like, I've ordered from Sheen and, like, now I'm waiting. But, like, it's just, like, just recording and stuff like that that I have yet to uh, edit and things like that and get together. So there's also that coming up. Um, let's see. Eventually, you guys are going to get... Uh, no, I'm not going to say too much, but, uh, I will see you guys next time, and, yeah, you know, power to the people, it's time for me to get me some, my last four ounces of this Boost Nutritional Energy Drink, and so, I will see y'all, bye.